So earlier I did a video where we were framing our collar ties and I kind of said, let me show you this because this always confused me when I was looking at it. And about 10 minutes after I uploaded it, somebody asked me a question. So I obviously didn't do a very good job of explaining it. So this is what it looks like on the top. And inside, we're inside the house right now. This is about three feet, three and a half feet by seven and a half feet. But not all of this loft is over the inside of the house. So if you look over here at the bedroom loft, the entire bedroom loft is inside of the house. The kitchen and the bathroom go underneath it. So there's no need to insulate this. All the wood underneath is exposed and you can cover that up if you want to, but you don't have to. Now, the front loft, some of this loft is going to go over top of the outside of the house. And that is going to be right here where the porch is and the doorway. So this opening right here is the door. And you can see this corner of the loft is actually the roof of the porch. So somebody had asked about the insulation. Under here, this stays exposed because it's going to be underneath the dining area and the sitting area, but this section is exposed and this is outside. So, and this is something that was always confusing to me. When you walk in, we're now outside of the house. When you walk in, you'll walk up the stairs. This will be your porch. That piece of wood is just temporary. Um, that'll be gone and there'll be some decking material there. This will all be cedar siding. This will be the front door right here. And this needs to get insulated because if that's not insulated, then all the cold air is going to come up through that loft floor, the humidity, the moisture, all of that. So this is what I was talking about in that video. We're going to insulate that and then we will have some type of material over there. You won't need to waterproof it necessarily, um, but you do have to consider the drainage. You have to make sure that the sheathing comes over that and that water's not gonna run underneath it. But uh, that's what you're talking about. So part of the loft, the front loft, actually sits outside, and part of it actually sits inside. And for whatever reason, that uh, was confusing to me when I was looking at the plans, and I figured it would confuse some other people as well. So I hope that clarifies things a little bit. And yeah, go build a tiny house.